Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is the web series where we follow all the latest updates and rumours regarding the Superman reboot. This is episode 31 and today we have even more set photos of Superman, but this time more of the cast are here, including Lois Lane. Yesterday's episode was so exciting and it's doing incredibly well. So thank you all for the support on that video and today we have even more set photos of Superman and Lois Lane, so now Let's get into the updates. And we start with some basic set photos. Now on the right, we can see that staircase that we talked about in episode 29. And at the top of the staircase, we see blue screen set up. So clearly it will be changed with CGI in post. Now we don't know if this is for Mr. Terrific's ship or someone else's, but we have also seen another ship on set with a sliding door open. Now maybe this is another part of the ship that lands in Metropolis with the big staircase, or maybe it is a sliding door from Mr. Terrific ship. And with the colour scheme it has, I'm going to guess that it is with Mr. Terrific. And before I go any further, the next set photos are slightly spoilerish, so here is your warning. But, so talking about this ship, we got some more set photos of Lois Lane and Perry White stepping out of the ship. And so if this is the villain ship or Mr. Terrific's, we'll decide whether or not this is a dramatic scene where they have just escaped, or someone has saved them, or if Mr. Terrific has brought them back to the Daily Planet from somewhere else. But so here we get our first looks at Perry and Lois, and I'm loving both of their appearances. Perry White's outfit is exactly how I imagined it would be, even with the cigar, and Lois is ripped right out of the comics. I think we could see a truly fantastic performance from both actors, but specifically Lois Lane. Rachel looks the part, and people love her, and I think Gunn is giving us a more classic return to these characters, so I think we could be looking at an incredible story for Lois lane. But not too soon after this, Lois was spotted with Superman walking down the streets of Metropolis, and wow, they look amazing. I'm so, so, so excited for this movie. As you guys know, Superman is my favourite hero of all time. He literally is what got me interested in the genre, and I remember watching Superman the movie all the time as a kid. So to see photos like these of the new Superman movie being filmed, honestly, it warms my heart. I I think the height of these two really complements one another as well, especially for Superman as he needs to have that larger than life feel and needs to tower over others, and David really does that. And let's just zoom in on David for a second here. I mean, come on, that is Superman. And what I'm asking for you guys to do right now is to play the John Williams Superman theme and just look at the photos of David Corrin Sweat in the Superman suit, because when I did that, it suddenly clicked. This is 100% percent Superman. He looks so iconic here just from set photos and we haven't even seen the trailer for this film. I think he was so perfectly cast for this role and obviously yes I want the suit to be a bit tighter which I hope they do in post but still this suit looks incredible. If we zoom back out we have a soldier to the left of both characters and normally if you see a soldier in public you would feel that authority from them and how important they are but next to Superman it just feels like he's a member of the public. I don't know how to describe it, but Superman just has this aura about him. And if we look at this photo of David and Rachel laughing, once again he looks iconic as Superman, so that he doesn't only show hope through his actions, but we also see it through his facial expressions. I want to see him happy to be Superman and to inspire others as well, and I think we are getting that with this movie. I'm not saying we didn't get that in the past movies, but I'm really looking forward to seeing David Superman do even more more of that. Now one interesting thing to note about the Superman suit is if we place the first promo photo versus one of the set photos from yesterday, we can see that they do look different. Obviously one is at night and battle damaged, and the other is during the day and completely clean, but if we zoom into the necks, we can see that the collars are different. The first photo is more rounded and hugs the neck like a scuba diving costume, and the set photos look far better and feel more streamlined and cut. 
which has got people asking the question, are these two different suits? And I can see that being a possibility. However, I think what the more reasonable and probable answer is, is that the first photo was maybe not the final suit design and they decided to make some tweaks to it when it actually came to filming. Or maybe just because David is bending down, his neck is squeezing into the collar and making it look more rounded. However, what if he starts with a dark suit that has a tight collar, but then maybe for the final scene of the movie, which is what they could be filming now, he switches to a brand new suit that is brighter and more saturated with a better collar. A lot of movies tend to do that, and I wouldn't be surprised that if after all the struggles Superman has had throughout the movie, the new brighter suit symbolizes how he has overcome those struggles and is happier because of it. And I would really like that to happen. I think it would be a really emotional moment for us fans to see. But what I think the most likely answer is, is that the first official image we had was of a concept suit, or close to the final product suit. Because the collar is clearly different, and I don't think leaning forward would change it that much, but also it looks like the belt is slightly different too. If we zoom in, it looks like the first image's belt is more metallic, whereas the set photos look made out of rubber or some other matte material. So I think the most likely answer is that the first photo was not the final look to the suit. Now whether or not that is a part of the story, as in him going from one suit to another, we don't know yet. But I am intrigued to find out and to hear your thoughts on this. We also have to acknowledge the posture of Superman as well. He is standing straight up with confidence, which is exactly what you want to see Superman do. And I think the contrast from that posture to Clark's posture will be a really interesting thing to compare. We saw Christopher Reeve's Superman do the same thing, and it really helped contrast the two characters. And I think David will probably do the same thing. And I decided to try and create a very basic edit from one of the set photos we got to just try and see if I could emulate what something like this shot could look like in the movie, and I'm sure it will look far, far better than this in the film, but I do like the kind of look this gives. I'm so excited to see the first official shot from the movie, because honestly, I think this is turning into one of my most anticipated movies ever, because it's a fresh start with my favourite hero of all time, and most of what I have seen so far sounds or looks great, and the movie is more than just the movie itself. It's the true beginning to a long-term story that I want to be invested in for years and years to come. So this movie can't come fast enough, but at the same time, I want to treasure these moments too, where we have no idea what is going to happen, but the excitement is building with every piece of news. I love the time we are in now, and the love on the last episode of the series was incredible, so thank you so much to everyone for your support on that video. We are already on 31 episodes of the series, and hopefully we can make it to 100. If you've just join the channel, make sure to watch the other 30 episodes to follow along with the updates because it's been a real journey already, and hopefully the next 30 episodes will be even more exciting. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!